Hello. Today's video is about ways to identify controlling people. Controlling people are extremely difficult to deal with. It's usually best to avoid them as much as you can, but unfortunately avoiding them entirely is impossible. Controlling people come on too strong. I once had a friend who upon meeting me said we were going to be best friends. At another point in my life I dated a man who started talking marriage in I think it was about two weeks of us meeting. Both of them turned out to be extremely controlling people. Controllers expect you to read their minds. If the person is acting unhappy, you're supposed to know why and also what you can do to make it all better. If you don't, they claim you're not a good friend or that you don't care about them. Narcissists do love the silent treatment, but all controlling people will use it if it gets them what they want. The silent treatment means refusing to speak to you or acknowledge a problem rather than discuss it. Withdrawing their love is designed to make you feel as if you've done something terrible, whether you have or not, and also to make you want to make it up to them. It keeps you kind of emotionally off balance, and until you realize what's happening, it also keeps you working hard to make the person giving you the silent treatment happy with you again. Controlling people also talk around problems rather than addressing them. This distraction technique removes your focus from the real problem and puts it wherever the controller wants it. That's usually on you and your flaws, whether they're real or imagined. Constant talking is another very useful tactic for controlling people. Narcissists love to brag about themselves and never tire of the sound of their own voices. Other controlling people talk constantly as well. This tactic's effective because it keeps the attention on the controller and the victim giving the controller their full attention. Accusing a victim of a behavior that the abuser is the one doing is called projection and it's a very effective weapon for control freaks. The goal is to change the behavior of the victim while allowing the accuser to be mad about the bad behavior and not accepting any responsibility for it. A controlling person has very definite opinions of things they think you should do while they don't do those behaviors. For example, they believe that your home should be so clean at all times and when you clean it, it's hard to tell anything was done because it was so perfect before you even started. Yet, yeah, their house has enough dust on the tables to write your name in. And don't you dare say a word about it or you're going to face their wrath. Guilt trips are supposed to make you feel so bad you'll never do that action again, which makes guilt trips such an effective weapon. Healthy guilt's a good thing. It keeps you from doing things like stealing or cheating on your spouse. You know doing such things would make you utterly miserable and you avoid doing them. Guilt trips, however, are more about control and not necessarily about you doing something bad. Bullies often come aqu across quite scary and intimidating, which is why bullying is another effective weapon of controlling people. The truth, however, is that they really are cowards. They try to make themselves look scary by acting intimidating so they'll get their way. If you refuse to be intimidated, that makes bullies stop their ridiculous behaviors. Urgency is also a common weapon of controlling people. By creating a false sense of urgency, it makes the victim feel that there's no time to think about things and she must act right now. Urgency eliminates the chance to consider the situation and evaluate choices. If a controlling person can make you feel you don't have time to think about the situations, you're going to give in and do what they want. The most effective way you can deal with controlling people is to have good, healthy boundaries and healthy self-esteem. The healthier you are, the less attracted controlling people are to you. You'll just be too hard for them to control. Thank you for watching my video.